And an accurate time signal. When you hear the gong, it will be precisely half past eight. Good evening. This is Dennis Smith introducing... Radio Theater. Tonight and every Monday night at this time, Lux Radio Theater presents the finest in radio drama for your entertainment. Tonight we bring you Hallelujah Corner, a swift, surging drama of our times by one of radio's leading writers, John Harris. In the dingy tenement of Hallelujah Corner, we find characters trapped in their own environment, unable and sometimes unwilling to escape. For one of them, there is a trap of another kind, as he finds himself suspected of murder, a murder that was never committed. Listen in a few moments to Hallelujah Corner, produced by Tom Meehan for Lux Radio Theater. as a daisy, Dewey Hyde, that's international film star El Casama. Sunflower by day, exotic moonflower by night, vivacious El Casama. How does El Casama retain this 24-hour radiance? It's Lux Beauty Soap. I use it for lots of reasons. It's pretty shape. It's lovely perfume. Doesn't it remind you of Paris? And most of all, I love the cake. It gives my complexion. You see, the lather is so pure and mild and gentle. I'd like every woman to use Lux. Remember, Lux, it's the complexion care of the stars. Because Signal's white stripes give my mouth super fresh taste. And Signal's red stripes keep my breath that way all day. That makes two of us who use... Signal? Shall we dance? Fresh? Signal! White stripes taste super fresh. Red stripes protect your breath. And now, Act One of tonight's Lux Radio Theater presentation, Hallelujah Corner. Well, you two, you're always complaining about something. All I'm saying is that it's time you had this door fixed. You've got a pair of hands, ain't you? What do you think I am? A carpenter? A builder? You're the landlord. What do you think we pay you rent for? Oh, what you give me for rent, don't pay for busted doors, make no mistake. Mend it yourself or shove a chair back under the handle. You wouldn't talk like that if I was old Riley. What's old Riley got to do with it anyway? Oh, I've seen you in there doing things for him. Grinning all over your face like a china dog. With a weather eye open to see where he keeps his money. I'll see you later. Not if I can help it, you won't. Ah. Uh, make us sick, they do. Paying flea bag prices, make out like they was living at the Ritz. Oh, hello, Jersey. Get that job then? Nobody gave me a job with my bad back. Oh. And how long are we going to be this time before we have any money to pay the rent? I can't help it for the next thing, can I? Accident? That was ten years ago. You're worse than old Riley, you are. He'd been dying these ten years with heart trouble. Uh, but he'll still be allowed to spend his money on whiskey when I'm pushing up the daisies. Old Riley's all right. Oh, his money's all right. He pays well. But I don't spend me time like you taking him cups of tea so I can find out where he keeps it. No harm in making him tea. He likes his tea. Yeah, and he likes somebody to get it for him, too. Like you, he is bone idle. I got a bad back, I tell you. Ah, uh, 
right, it's a good excuse, that back. Makes it easy to sit in your behind all day and let your sister do all the running about for both of you. If I was Sally, I'd get myself mad and leave you to stew in your own juice. Mr. Riley. Come on, Mr. Riley. Cup of tea to cheer you up a bit, eh? Sit up and enjoy it. Come on, don't you want your tea? Come on and get up and stop acting the goat. Mr. Riley. Mr. Riley. Blimey, the old boy's rolled up. On here. No. No, not yet. Now, where's that money? Must be here somewhere. down over there and be quiet till I've finished. All right, Mr. Barrett. Hello, Hetty. Hello, Josie. All right, said be quiet. Oh, but I'm tired. I'm sick of this. I'm stiff. I'm fed up with you still. And I'm fed up with your silly noise. Yap, yap, yap. Now, keep your head still. How do you expect me to paint you if you don't? Oh. Yeah, I've got something to show you, Joey. Some new pictures. Been working on them for weeks. The best shit. Because there's got nothing on me. I've been talking to Arnie. Yeah, well, I don't care if he's laying an egg in the basement. All right, it's no use, Eddie. Put your things on. Oh, thank heaven for that. I haven't seen you lately, Josie. Where have you been? Playing nature with Arnie, I suppose. Oh, we missed you, Josie. Always like to see you calling in, don't we, Elf? Oh, I don't care whether he comes or not. Now, yeah, but since he's here, he can give me a few opinions on these, these doors that I've got. I'll fetch him from the bedroom. Oh, I don't understand him. Uh, another time. Honey, come up for a chat. No, you stay, Josie. I'll put the kettle on. Well, what's the matter? Why can't you come and see a girl? I've been busy. You, busy? Alfred's been out several nights late. You could have come. Last time he came back early, and I had to dodge out the window. I had to get down on that ruddy ledge there. Josie, you do still love me, don't you? Say you do. Of course I do. Listen, I've, I've been talking to Arnie on the front porch. Him and Costello, I, I came straight up What's and... What's uh, he got to do with it? I want to know where you've been, not Arnie. If you've been after Connie at the Plume and Feathers, no, I'll... No, I've not been after Connie. Oh, Josie, let's get away from here. I'm sick of living in this rotten little attic. Top light, north light, in with these paints. Watch and he's coming. Arnie McBride was telling me downstairs just now. Uh, a minute ago, was it? Uh, I've just been talking to him. Uh, 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 Arnie McBride. There. <laughs> now, how does that strike you? Well, uh, what is it? What is it? Well, what does it matter what it is? It's a composition in colour. It looks like a fish. Yeah, it is a fish, you fool. Well, it's, uh, it's nice, isn't nice. it? Nice. Very nice. Yes. Nice? Is that the best you can say? Well, if you want to know about it, why don't you take it down and show it to Arnie? He's on the front porch. Arnie left him a few minutes ago. How long have I been here? Five minutes at the most, I bet. You've, uh... Are you in love with Arnie or something? No. Why? I was only talking to him. Oh, and uh, what was this wonderful and lovely thing you and Arnie said to each other? Has uh, Arnie been proposing? <laughs> You've got a little secret or something? No, we were only talking, that's all. I came straight up here. Less than a minute I was. Came straight up. Not five minutes since I left him. What the blazes has that got to do with anything? It's a confounded catechism. I've seen Arnie. Arnie's seen me. We've seen each other. And everybody's seen us both. Hallelujah. Have a banana. What's it all about? 
Nothing, I suppose. Uh, just talking. That's all. Me and Arnie. Well, I'd... I'd better be going. Yeah. Now, what did he want in here? All that type of a coming up here for a chat. I don't know, I'm sure. Only this and only that. Well, keep him out of here. He's always coming up. He could spend his time better in a job looking after his sister. Gosh, it's good to be home, Sammy. Ah, uh, the smell of this old river's like scent of roses to me. <laughs> it wouldn't win any prizes at the Rose Show. It's great to be with you again, Sally. Oh, I've got so much to tell you, I don't know where to start. Oh, we've plenty of time, Mick. Oh, I don't know so much. It's only a short leave this time, Sal. Oh, but we'll make the best of it. I've been saving up for years for this. I've enough now to set us up in comfort. I'll whip you out of Hallelujah Corner so fast you'll never know what happened. Oh, Mick. Oh, well, what's the matter, Sally? Don't you like the idea? Oh, I do. I... Only there are things that hold me here. In Hallelujah Corner, Sally. Oh, don't get like my old man. What? Drinking myself, silly? Oh, you goon, just refusing to move from this dump. Oh, I know how you feel about your father. I don't feel anything about my father anymore, Sal. When I joined the Navy, he told me I'd made my bed and I'd got a lie in it. Now, he wasn't going to help me. Not only that, but he wasn't going to see me. Okay, that's what I've done. But I notice he never says no to the allowance I make him. He's a stubborn old cuss. <laughs> A bit like you. Oh, Mick, it's nothing to do with stubbornness. I'd leave tomorrow. Only there's Josie. Josie? W where does Josie come into it? Well, he doesn't really. It's, it's just that I've looked after him since Mother and Dad were killed. And... Ooh, now's his chance to look after himself for a change. Oh, he's sick, Mick. Oh, sick my eye. But Mick, that back oh, of his... Sally, I'm sorry he hurt his back. Oh, surely he was lucky to get a pension for it. Oh, he was lucky it was a naval dockyard. His pension's just enough to stop him ever doing anything for himself. Just enough to keep you in this rotten dump looking after him. Oh, Sal, I've seen men worse off than Josie earning their living. The docks are full of jobs. No, I'll have a talk to him. No, Mick, let me. I know how to handle it. Sally, how long have you been here? Oh, a bit. Josie. Why don't you keep your room straight? It looks all right to me. Josie, is that back of yours ever going to get better? Isn't there any job you could do? I can't go on keeping the two of us forever, you know. Well, why didn't you say so at the start? If it's money you want, here. Here's a couple of quid. I've got to have them on me. Where did you get that? Don't you want it? You were kicking up enough fuss a minute ago. Where did you get it? Saved it up. What do you think? You never saved two pounds in your life. I saved this, I tell you. I saved it. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, all right. You must know. I won it. I came up on a horse. I don't believe you. I know you're not telling the truth. I can always tell. Where did you get it? I told you, didn't I? I won a horse. You think blokes go around giving people two quid just like that? Ear mite sort of thing is a couple of quid going to have a blowout? You think blokes do that? What have you been up to? Up to? Nothing. Here. Don't you want them? No, I don't. There's a bit more if you want it. Take yourself out and enjoy it. You're as sour as an old tomcat all of a sudden. You'd have thought Mick Riley come down might have cheered you up. Him and his navy. Always tell me what to do every time he comes down. Think he was Nelson. Here. Take it. Have a good time with it. You're a liar, Josie. You didn't win this money. I don't want it. I wouldn't touch any of it, wherever it came from. Have it your own way, then. I'm going out. I've been looking for you, Josie. It's about time you and me got together a bit. It's time we had a little talk about Sally. I didn't look after Sally. No, more's a pity. Doesn't it ever occur to you that she might sometimes get sick of this dump? Ever thought of getting a job away somewhere so she'd leave and find somewhere decent? I'm not keeping her here. And you know ready well you are. Why don't you let her get herself married to someone who'll give her a decent home? Like you? Why not? 
I could look after her a sight better than you ever tried to. How much do you want to clear off? You trying to bribe me? What else? And I bet you've got your price too. Like your dad, eh, Nelson? Now listen. Take your You're not going to get away. Who do you think you're being I'm smart with? Don't you try to rough me up. Stop it, stop it, you two. What's going on? Ask him. What's going on between you and Josie? Oh, I was trying to make him see reason. Yeah. By brawling in the street? Oh, you're as bad as everyone else around here. Oh, now listen, Sally. Hold on a minute. We've got to settle about us. Bullying Josie won't help. Listen, Sally, we've got to sort it out. There's nothing to sort out. I'm sick of arguments. They don't change anything. Sal! Sal! <laughs> Josie? Time we had some thunder to clear the air. What's it going to be? Beer? Beer? Not likely. I'm pushing the boat out this time. Give me a double whiskey. Double whiskey? Cool. Got a job in the city all of a sudden. Can a chap buy a drink now without getting the third degree? Thought I might even buy you one, eh? Oh, I'll have a gin. Better snatch your hand off while I got the chance, eh? <laughs> as, a, as a matter of fact, I've come up on a horse. Done myself a bit of all right. Oh. Hey, come on now. How about the flicks and Thursday? It's your night off. Flicks and a drink and a taxi home, eh? Or would you rather go to the dogs? Are you kidding? Of course I'm not kidding. Yeah, look. Oh. Well, that won't go far, brother. I like to have a good time when I'm away from Alleluia Corner. I like to shake the eebie-jeebies out of my system. How about this, then? This take you far enough? Mmm, that's better. Set them up again, Con, and don't worry about the dough. There's more where that came from. All right. Come on, Con. What about that date, eh? How much did you put on this horse that's come up? Oh, uh, a tidy bit. Well, I might. I just might. I'll see you in a minute. All right. Yeah, we'll have Doing the right oh, boy, aren't you? Trying to be a rival to Harry Frisbee. Uh, what's it got to do with Harry Frisbee? Well, he's Connie's boyfriend. Where do you think they got them sparklers and them nylons from, eh? Don't miss much, do you? Not eh? missing much is worth a drink or two now and again. For instance, if I was to tell it, Sparrow, I seen you holding Connie's hand. Now, why don't you go and net yourself a shroud, eh? Hey, seen O'Reilly anywhere. I've been in once, but nobody spotted him. He never misses normal. You can have a beer if you want, like me. Oh, tar ducks. A beer, dearie. He's taken care of it. Oh, all right. Another one for you, Josie. Same as last time, eh? Beer I want, Con. What's up? Put the shackles on the old cash box all of a sudden, have we? <laughs> Come in here like a chap who hasn't seen a pub for six years. Now you're back on beer. <laughs> you want to remember, I'm a like a, I like a man who's not afraid to spend a bit of money. All right. Go on, then I'll have another double whiskey. My, aren't you the one? Double whiskey? And he offers me a beer. Oh, you want to be careful or you'll be straining yourself. You're worse than Harry Frisbee the way you throw your money around. Well, here's your beer, Ma. Why don't you drink that up and shut up? Here, Connie. Take it out of that. I've okay. been doing a sailor for his wallet, Josie. Or have you been strangling your grandma? I bought you a beer, young grateful old So Why don't you stop your rattle with it? Pension day, Josie. No, come up on a horse. Oh, well, how about a celebration then? How about pushing the boat out? You've had all I can afford. Go on, Josie. Chant your arm. You can't say afford around these parts. If you're broke, you're on the cage. If you've come up on horse, you'll stand us all of wet. How much you win? A couple of million pounds, and I'm going to buy Buckingham Palace and Wembley Stadium and make you a present of them. Oh, shut up and let a man think. Hello, Harry, love. Oh, how are you all? Howdy. Hello, Harry. Hi, Con, you're looking smashing tonight. Thanks, love. Uh, usual please, the pipe for all the boys, huh? When you taking Connie out, Josie? You said I was taking Connie out. It's writ all over your face, like the art, panting for the stream. You must have had a good win if you can afford to take yeah, Connie out. Harry Frisbee never buys a beer and fish and chips. Oh, no, that stall of his in the market's only a blind. He's got other sources. Now, be quiet. And he's got a nasty habit of getting his pals to work anybody over who 
who muscles in on his territory. Ugly customer he is. And he's got plenty of the boys to help him when he gets no. Oh, shut up, you old fool. He might hear. Perhaps he'd like to hear. Eh? Perhaps he'd pay me well for telling him. It might be worth a bit to him to know you're muzzling in on his conny. Maybe he'd like to have you worked over Josie Boy like all the others. I told you, he don't like people minding his business. Pity I didn't buy your battle up here. You might have fallen and got drowned. Thanks for your stupid kind What have you heard of Well, old Riley's been knocked up. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, someone's oh, done him in. <laughs> of the room, offering him a cup of char, and then with his toes turned up hours before. Well, what are you going to do about it? You have to fetch the police. Oh, I have. Garrity's there now. But it's as clear as daylight to me. Someone was after his money. We all know he had a wad of it stuffed away in there. That's true. Smothered him with a pillow while he was sleeping, they did. Sure, the pillow's still there under the bed where they dropped it. Aye, aye. There's Cripp and himself come to revisit the scene of his crime. Come on, Joey boy. Join the party. Anybody would think it was something to laugh at. Yeah, I bet old Riley's laughing. Especially if he's gone home in Arnie's rent. Arnie, do me a favour. Yeah. Get out to the phone and call the inspector. Oh, I'd better get Mick too while you're at it. OK. What do you want the inspector for? Well, because he has to be told when anybody dies in suspicious circumstances, like old Riley has. What do you mean, uh, suspicious circumstances? Well, he hasn't committed suicide, that's certain. There are easier ways of doing that than smothering yourself with a pillow. Uh, and it wasn't an accident or he'd be on his face, not on his back with the pillow on the floor. Uh, and if it isn't suicide and it isn't an accident, it's more than likely murder, see? Hey, what's the matter with you, Josie? You feel all right? Got the wind up, Josie boy. Scared you're next. No, my back's bad. I'll sit down a bit. Not a bad idea. Might as well sit a stand while we're waiting. What are you knitting all the time? Collar for a cart horse, coffin for a kipper, pair of gum boots for when it rains. Take your pick, I'm not fussy. No need to be funny. Can you stop him for a bit? Click, clack, click, clack. It's enough to give a chap the creep. You're jumpy, Josie boy. Frightened you won't have enough cash to take Connie out Thursday? Shut up, will you? You was great pals, old Riley, Josie. You ever see his money? No, I didn't. What are you getting at? Well, he was always taking him cups of tea, wasn't you? She took him cups of tea, too. I'd have took him champagne if I could have got me dukes on his dough. Uh, is that what you were after, too, Josie? Trying to find out where the old boy kept his cake? Leave eh? him alone, Arnie. They'll get whoever done it for long. Yes, won't take them long. Say, Mick boy, what's happened to the money? Yeah, which money? That money your old man had in there. Yeah, how do you know he hadn't any money? Go through his things sometime. Well, if he hadn't, what's he be murdered for? Uh, murdered my foot. He had a heart attack. Oh, too much whiskey. Well, what a way to talk about his poor old dad. Poor old dad be darned. He never did any good for me. Although I'm sorry he had to die in this hole. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? This hole. My place is clean regular. Oh, it's all right. The show's over. Break it up. Have they taken him out yet, then? And what you decided? Is it murder? Oh, the police don't decide that, Ma. Not at this stage, anyway. That's the coroner's job. They've got to have an inquest so they can shove the old boy under the buttercups and daisies. They don't keep this weather, you know. You can't tell me nothing about that. I was laying them out round Hallelujah Corner when you was throwing stones at copper's helmets. Oh, they've got to open the inquest, but they don't have to finish it. As soon as they've evidence of identification, they can pop the old boy under, see? Then they can reopen it later and give the verdict when the police have sorted things out a bit. What you got to sort out? Well, for a start, there's a little matter of some money old Riley's supposed to have had. Why don't you ask Arnie? 
He's been poking about in there. You stow your rattle, you old flea bag. I don't want to see nobody's pinsy old boy's cash, that's all. And wasn't you peeved when you found they had? Ah, oh, they're coming for him now. We mustn't miss this. we got to give old Riley a proper send-off. She's pestering me. Why? Because she's that sort. Where did you get that two pounds you offered me yesterday? Oh, for Pete's sake, you're not going to start on that again, are you? Oh, tell me the truth for once. Was that money anything to do with old Riley? Did you do him any harm? No, I didn't. So help me, I didn't. I believe you. For once, I believe you. I never touched him, Sally. Honest, I didn't. You don't want to listen to what Arnie McBride says. Him and Mark Potter, they're always trying to stir up trouble. Josie, where did you get that money? I won it. Oh, oh all right, Josie. Sally, so, uh, I've been thinking about what Mick said last night. It'd suit you, wouldn't it, if I went away? Oh, so long as you were all right. Yes, it would. You and... You and Mick would get married, I suppose. Oh, uh, Mick will help you. He might even be able to get you to see. Some job that wouldn't hurt your back. Like a steward or something. Well, I... I might at that. Be best for everybody. I'll get a ship like you say. And quick, too. Quick? Why, Josie? Why would you have to be quick? Go on, say it. You're still thinking about old Riley, aren't you? All right, then. Not quick. Next week, next month, next year. Whenever you and me make feel like it. dozen Morgans are on these docks. Which Morgan do you want, then? The one who can fix me up with a job in a ship. Well, why don't you go to the Shipping Federation? They'll find you something. Oh, they take too long. I don't want any fuss. Ah, then Morgan's the man you want. That's what I told you, didn't I? Where is he? Right here? Here. I'm Morgan. Well, what do you think you're playing at? Why didn't you say so before? We've got to know who we're talking to, haven't we? These things have to be done on the quiet, you see. And they cost money. A tenner at least. Just for finding me a ship? Oh, let somebody else find you one, then I'm not fussy. Uh, wait. Uh, th there's no need to get like that. I'll, I'll give you a tenner. Ah, but look you, uh, I didn't say it was a tenner. I said it was at least a tenner. There's more than me in it, you see. How much, then? Fifteen quid. Fifteen? Fifteen, if you want to sail, uh, tomorrow, see? What time tomorrow? About tea time, uh, Four o'clock, maybe. The tide's the way they are now. That uh, quick enough for you? Fine. She's in now, that's her. Next to the tanker. She's a Bradley. Looks, uh, looks a bit one-eyed. Oh, she's all right. The skipper's a bit of a basket, but the mate's a friend of mine. He'll be two or three short when he wants to sail. He's always two or three short. Everyone knows him. I'll fix you up. Uh, don't forget, Bradley. Four o'clock. Right. Be here by half past three. Okay. And uh, have your money ready. Off a minute, Josie. In a bit of a hurry, ain't hey. you? You know anything about this money of old Riley's? Why picking me? I've never seen it. Why don't you ask M Ma Potter or Arnie? Oh, I shall do. I've seen Arnie already, in fact. Uh, the inspector wants to know where you all were when the old boy died. Well... Uh, how do you know when that was? Well, the doctor reckons it happened about tea time yesterday. Suppose I, I don't want to say anything. Well, I can't make you, but well, after all, I was born here myself, so if you've got anything to say, you'd be wiser if you gave me the dope instead of keeping it for the inspector. 
you might not understand so well. Oh, you, you'd better get out your notebook out then and, and take it all down properly. Oh, I don't need a notebook. I keeps it all up here. Now, this isn't for the record, of course, but uh, you didn't do the old boy in, did you? No, I didn't. OK, OK. I know I shouldn't ask questions like that, but, well, I've known you since you was a kid. Knew your father and mother, too. I only wanted to know you didn't do it and you haven't got the money. What money? I stop acting the innocent, Josie. Where were you yesterday evening? Yesterday evening? Give us the dough. Where were you? Uh, I don't know. When I came in yesterday, I... Oh, I talked to Costello and Arnie on the porch there. Then uh, uh, then I went upstairs to the Sparrows. That's right, I went to see the Sparrows. Uh, straight up to the Sparrows. Uh, straight up I uh, went. OK, I got it the first time. Now, how long did you stay there? Oh, a long time. I was, it seemed, had to look at all his ruddy pictures. Why did you go up to the Sparrows? Well, can't I go up and see people if I want to? Don't need a ticket, do I? No, you don't need a ticket, Josie. Now, give it to us straight. Why did you go up there? Sparrow was home. Well, can't a bloke go to see people when he wants to? Oh, where did you go when you left the Sparrows? Uh, to my room. Anybody see you there? Oh, uh, Sally. Yes, Sally. Uh, she come in for a chat. Oh, Sally, eh? Uh, and what then? Uh, oh, I went to the, uh, the Plume of Feathers. Anybody see you? Well, all of them saw me. Connie behind the bar, Mark oh. Potter, all the rest of them, all everybody right, was there. Right, all right. What were you using for money in the plume and feathers, Josie? Oh, had to win on a horse. Okay, that'll do for now. Yes, for now, till I check your story. Check my story? You think I'm lying? Oh, it has been known, Josie. It has been known. I never touched him. He was dead when I found him. Why did the old fool have to go and blabber about his money to everybody? got yourself a new boyfriend. Me. <laughs> Where's your night out? Boyfriend? I've got one already and he's bigger than you. Isn't he, Josie? That's right, Con. <laughs> Gonna see me home, Josie? I'd love to. Take me around the fun fairs, buy me a bite of supper. Yeah, yeah, sure so will, Connie. Just put your hat on and watch me. <laughs> okay, I won't be a tick. Better luck next time, sailor boy. Uh, you know what to say. You can't win them all. Watch yourself with them hobby horses. For you, see. <laughs> I better sail down the tunnel of love. I can't. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Pity the rest of them at Hallelujah Corner couldn't see you swinging that hammer, Josie. I thought you had a bad back. Oh well, it uh, it comes in spasms, you know. Sometimes it's all right. It, it's fine tonight. Yeah, I can see that. You're all man, aren't you, Josie? Oh, I like going out with a real man like you. And I like a real man like you to see me home. Let's go then, Connie. Let's go now. Aren't you afraid we might bump into Hetty Sparrow? Oh, why should I be afraid? Well, she's the one you usually visit at Alleluia Corner, isn't she? Her and old man Riley. What do you want to talk about them for? I'm up with you, aren't I? I've given you a good time, haven't I? Well... Haven't I? Oh, of course you have, Josie. I was only pulling your leg. Oh, I didn't like it. I'm sorry, Josie. Uh, 
want another drink? All right. But not in the pub. Where, then? I've got a bottle in my room. It'll be quiet there, Josie. Just the two of us, you and me. Like that, wouldn't you, Josie? Don't want Ma Potter shoving her long nose out. So, this is your room, eh? What's wrong with it? Well, it, it looks just like mine. Same gas ring, same furniture, same Well, what everything. did you expect? Palm trees, soft lights and sweet music? Oh, on my wages. No, I'm only I'll sort this well, words, you know. thinking. Woman. Reach yeah. under the bed and get the bottle out there. All right. Lovely. Gee, Josie boy. You didn't half throw it around tonight. That's right. You haven't gone and spent up, have you, giving me a good time? Not me. Plenty more where that came from. Where did you get it? I told you. Won it on a horse. Some horse. You must have come up on a proper outsider. What were the odds? What do you mean? What were the odds? What were the odds on the horse? Oh, oh, about a hundred to one. What was it called? What was what called? The horse, Josie. The horse what come in at hundred to one. Oh, oh, well, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Oh, if I won that much, I'd have its name stamped on me heart. Well, I haven't. Can I have a fag, too? Yeah, sure, sorry. They uh, found out what happened to old Riley yet? Why? Just curious. I wonder if they'll find his money. Hey, he never had any. Ma Potter started that story uh, and Arnie. If I'd got his dough, I'd be willing to cough up a bit to keep it dark. Wouldn't you? Hey? I reckon it'd be worth it to go halves. I reckon a few drinks and a steak and a trip round a fun fair isn't much of a bribe if you want to keep somebody's mouth shut. What are you getting at, eh? I reckon a nice expensive fur would be more in keeping with a thing like that. Blast you. You're all the same. You, my potter, Arnie. I haven't had a minute's peace since old Riley died. You want to be careful what you say about people. You're no angel yourself. Oh, shut I've up. seen you creeping up the stairs at night. Nylon sparklers. That's all you're off. Oh, at. get out. Get out before I crown you with a box. No, it's blackmail. Blackmail. Pretty, isn't it? You're a blackmail. Don't you? Don't... I'll teach Wait you a thing oh. to you. You're strong. You might have killed me. You want to watch your tongue. Otherwise, you will get hurt. I never said anything, Josie. If I did, I'm sorry. Ah, come on now. Give us a No, you can't kid me anymore. You with your come and get me, Luke. I wouldn't touch you with a barge pole. No wonder you want me. Nobody else will look at you, except maybe that old has been Frisbee. Old has been, eh? Oh, Harry, you'll like that. He'll enjoy it. Oh, that's it. Threats now. Give you enough rope and you'll hang yourself. Is that so? Well, let me tell you, Josie Vaughan, any hanging to be done around here, it won't be me. a minute then. What are you doing here? I've taken the afternoon off. Why? I had to come back. What for? I want the truth. Where did you get all this money you've been spending? Which money? All the money you were spending last night. 
You and Connie were having a high old time by all accounts. Well, what if we were? What business is it of yours? What you've done has always been my business. Ever since we were left on our own. And many a time I've wished it weren't. Well, it needn't be any more. I'm old enough to look after myself. If you lived to be as old as Methuselah, you wouldn't be old enough to do that. All your life people have been looking after you. Even Mick tried to help you. He's promised to find you jobs and places to live. Yes, somewhere at the other end of the earth, where I won't interfere with his blasted plans. I'm sick of people trying to tell me what to do and where to go. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm trying to help you, don't you see? Now leave me alone. I didn't pinch the money. You're a liar. I always knew you were. And now I suspect you might be more. Oh, Josie, if you can't tell me the truth, I can't help you. Who said I want you to help me? I can manage all right on my own. Can't I? Can't I? I hope so. If that's what you're planning to do, manage on your own. Is that why you were packing your bag when I came? Who said I was? I do. You didn't kick the bag far enough under the bed. It's obvious that you're running away. But what are you running away from? That's what I want to know. I'll tell you what I'm running away from. You and that preaching sailor. I'm sick of you both. Sick of hallelujah corner. Sick of the old rotten lot of you. Give me that back and get out of my way. From now on, I'll do what I want when I want to. Goodbye, Sal. I'll see you again sometime. Maybe... business of yours? Well, it, it, it might be. I, I, I want to talk to you. Don't get time now, matey. Well, you better make time because Harry Frisbee wants to talk to you Harry too. Frisbee. <laughs> That's right, Josie. Me. Hey? Harry Frisbee. That old has been, remember? All right, Harry, get it. What are you doing? wanted to see me. What did they do? Drive a steamroller over you? Oh, never mind that now. Am I too late? Oh, if you'd been much later, you'd have caught her leaving on our next trip. <sighs> That's her saying goodbye. Uh... You've got to find me another one. I, I can pay. Anything you want, I can pay it. I've got me money. I... I... My money. They've taken me money. Then it didn't matter about the Bradley sailing without you, did it? <sighs> You wouldn't have been on her anyway. You all right, Costello? There's dirt up there in them clouds. Taking a long time to build up, and it's going to be a beaut when it does arrive. Never know. Watch your all. Hello, Ma. Where have you been all day? I just got back from the inquest. Talk hmm? about a lark. <laughs> Felt his proudest punch of old Riley. I did the questions they asked. Well, what happened? <laughs> what was his name? What was his mother's name? Where was he born and why? Proper old vulture, that coroner. Yes, yes, and yes. And then yes. they asked me what I knew, and I told them. All about his money and who knew about yeah, it. Yeah, but what was the verdict? Hey, go on, tell us. Got all dressed up for it, I did. Felt I had to see the old boy off right. Wasn't it hot? Oh, it would rain. That on, caught us like an oven it was. Struth! Look what the cat dragged in. What happened to you, Josie? Got that punch up. None of your business anyway. You never know. Look like you're ready for an inquest yourself. Yeah. That's where I've been, Josie. To old Riley's inquest. Yeah, what happened? Get it out, will you? Got there early to make sure of a good seat, I did. Took me knitting. It's a nose I'm knitting for you, Josie boy. <laughs> You'll be needing it before long. Now, what's the verdict? What's the verdict? Who's for the high jump? Young Mick had to give evidence for identification. 
He's the only relative. Oh, we know that, but what's the verdict? I'm coming oh. to that, aren't I? I'll give a body a chance. Oh, God, you had half a dozen chances, you old goat. Well, don't rush me. You're worse than Bobby Garrity. Never mind about Bob Garrity. What was the verdict? If you don't out with it soon, I'll fetch you one across the sweep with this broom oh, handle. Oh, shut up. Verdict? The verdict? Oh, there wasn't no verdict. What do you mean? They adjourned it like they said they would. And you know what that means? It means the cops is after somebody. Don't it, Josie boy? <laughs> well, that happened now. <laughs> yeah. I bet she gave him a proper mouthful in that coroner's court. Garrett and the rest will be around asking more questions now. No that old fool's fault. Somebody will do for her one of these days. You mark my words. Here, what do you want? Busting into a body's room like this. I wanted to talk to you about the inquest, Ma. You went off before anybody had a chance to ask you about it. Oh, what else is there to say? Maybe all the people who could tell them what happened weren't there. I bet mm. you made up for that, though, didn't you? What? What do you mean? I mean, you seem to have it in for me a bit, don't you, Ma? What'd you tell them? Now, you get away from me, Josie Vaughan. What I said down at the inquest is my own affair and You've what I... You've been spying on me, haven't you? What do you mean, spying? What I said. And here's something else. You put Ali Frisbee onto me, didn't you? Ali Frisbee? What would I have to tell Ali Frisbee about you? You know, about the money. The money I had. And how he's got it. And it's all through you. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shut up, you old fool. Shut your mouth. You don't. Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't. Threatening an old widow woman. You look fine on the callous. I'll laugh the day they put the black flag up. I'll be there outside the jail. Shut your mouth. I'll shut it for you. Help! Help! I'll be quiet, you old fool. You're a me. Shamming on now. Ma! Ma! Hello, Josie. You gave me a start. Sure, I gave you a start. Weren't expecting me, were you? Get out of the way. When I've sorted out a thing or two. I've been suspecting this lot for some time. What are you talking about? You up there with Eddie. I warned you. Out of my way, I've not seen her today. No? Then I suppose you've been up there holding hands with my potter. I said out of not my so way. Not so fast, mate. Get your... No, do look for trouble. Get 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 hey, what's that? Hey, honey. Hey, uh, someone's fallen downstairs. Who, who is it? Who it's a pharaoh. Oh, look, hey, hey, give us a hand. <sighs> There. He knocked me down. Who did? Tell me who did. Well, who's up there? Come on down, let's oh, see you. Come on down before I club barbed you. Go and chat with Garrity. All right, I am. And throw us a chair leg behind the door. The one I use for drunks. I feel better for that in my hand. Yeah, what's going on? Someone just knocked Sparrow downstairs. Some loony may still be up there for all I know. Who is Sparrow's wife? I don't know. Upstairs, perhaps. You'd better go and fetch her. Oh, fetch her yourself. Oh, Costello's getting Bobby Garrity. Let's have some cops on the job. Oh, you might have done something for the poor devil instead of just standing there. What do you mean, listen, I didn't know what to do for him. How do we know he wasn't coming down after us? He's got yeah. a lump, a lump in his head the size of a football. Yeah, wonder he wasn't killed. Oh, mind you, he doesn't seem to have anything broken, though. Oh, here's Garrity now. How did this happen, Oni? Uh, I don't know. We, we found him here. He's still alive. 
Whoever did it is still up there. Any of your people upstairs? Eddie may be and Ma Potter, top floor. Well, we better go up and see if they're all right. Somebody better ring for the doctor. Yes. Uh, I'll go. No, no, I'd rather one of the women. I want you to come with me. Oh, I'll go. Are you all right, Sal. Tell him what's happened. Uh, come on, then, Mick. Uh, sure, sure, I'll come. I hope they're getting them. Coming, Arnie? More than that. Yeah. yeah, OK, I'll come. Oh, no, no, hold on, wait here. Arnie, hang on, we'll go up to the top. If you see anybody coming down in a hurry, don't hesitate to use that chair leg of yours. Well, Mind it isn't me, though, or Mick here. OK. Ah, oh, this was Sparrow's room, wasn't it? Oh, I think so. Hetty? Hetty? Oh, she's out anyway. Let's take a look at Ma Potter. It's not like her to be missing any excitement. Right. Look at that. Oh, blimey. Oh, she, she's been done in. Arnie! Oh, no! Soon as Sal gets back from the telephone, send her out again. Tell her to get the inspector. Ma Potter's been murdered. <laughs> I guarantee. Oh, I Tell the ambulance man to take Sparrow down to the hospital and then to come straight back. Very good, Inspector. Come on, come on, out of the way, you lot. Come on now. Now, don't worry, Mrs. Sparrow. He'll be all right. You better put your things on and go along to the hospital. Uh, would you like me to come along with you, Eddie? No, I'm all right. I'll go up to our room and change. I guarantee that accounts for all of them except one. What's he like, this Josie? Oh, you must have seen him, sir. Big chap. Didn't know his own strength. Well, I didn't mean that. Oh, like all the rest of them around this district. Not much cop. Bit simple. Never had a chance, really. They never get a chance round Alleluia Corner. You like these people, don't you, Garrity? Yes, sir. I suppose I do. Why? I'm one myself. But it didn't stop you making a decent man of yourself. No, I was lucky. And you need a bit of luck around here. Yes, I suppose you do. Well, it shouldn't be long before we pick Bourne up. You're quite sure he isn't hiding upstairs somewhere? I searched both floors. He isn't there. I don't know how he got out, unless he can fly. Please, Eddie. I'll do anything you want. I promise I will. Only let me in. Oh, God, is that to me now? With the police after you? Knock him down, Alfred, down the stairs and kill the defenseless old woman? You go back where you came from. I can't. The police will be looking for me. Please, Eddie. I won't hurt you. I'll go straight away. You stay there till I get Garrity. Don't close it, Eddie, please. I'll fall. Eddie! Only... Why? Is uh, this the chap you've been looking for? That's him, Doctor. I wish the ambulance would hurry up. Yes, I think it may be too late. What's been happening around here tonight? The usual. Hallelujah Corner doing its stuff again. Can I can I speak to him, Doctor? I'm his sister. Yes. Yes, of course. I'm afraid you may not have very long. Hello, Josie. Hello, Sal. I've got a proper bad back now. No mistake. Oh, don't, don't talk, Josie. Just, just rest quietly. It was that Mick there with you? Yes, Josie. Take it easy, boy. It would have been best of a gone away just like you said Mick I, I tried and I, I, I didn't quite manage it Sally I, I, I didn't do anything to old Riley he, he was he was dead when I found him we know that Joseph now Mick look after him will you Mick the way she tried to look after me 
do that, Josie. Oh, don't you worry. I, I always wanted to. I, 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 uh, <sighs> Josie. <laughs> Josie. He's gone, is he? Yes, I'm, I'm afraid so. I thought the ambulance would be too late. Come on, Sal. There's nothing more you can do. Let's get away from here. I'll, I'll, I'll go and see to his thing. Oh, no, you won't. You're not going back in there again. Not ever. Not anymore. You've finished with Hallelujah Corner. Tonight's presentation of Hallelujah Corner, you heard Ivor Kissin as Josie, Jeppy Milton as Mar Potter, and Joan Robinson as Sally. Others in the cast were Maggie Stannard, Jack Fowler, Pat Simpson, and Maureen Adair. Also Derek Taylor, Mark Tanner, and Alan Goodfellow. Hallelujah Corner was produced for Lux Radio Theatre by Tom Meehan and directed by Cyril Kay. When you hear the stroke of the gong, the time on Springbok Radio will be nine o'clock. Polly! Yes? Bring on the tea with the golden taste.